Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery, preparing to check in on a bin of red wiggler worms. They were last checked in on 12 days ago, and this is the system where we have been changing the corner that gets fed each time. So we've been referring to that sometimes as the pocket fed worm bin. So yeah, there it is. Our feeding zone indicator points out the corner that was last fed. It's a clockwise rotation looking down onto the system, meaning the location of the feeding we're um, going to be applying today is going to be one notch, one corner, clockwise into that corner back there. So I'm going to get a glove on and get this system up on the bench so we can get them fed. So let's get to work. My green information board here is chock full of interesting bits of info about this system, its age, time, number of times it was fed, and right down to um, just clarification on the fact that even though the system's been fed 17 times overall, those first couple feedings were not fed in corners, only the last 15 were. And I don't know what else, 12 days since the last check-in, I think I mentioned that already. So let's press on and give these little guys their most recent feeding, which is going to be a nice little pile of frozen watermelon rind it's like a couple I've already thawed and dropped off but it's kind of just a frozen mound together so since we're going clockwise the now 16th pocket feeding will be applied right there and this coffee filter was brand new when we applied it last time what's what's out here I don't know I think it's hard to tell can't tell if it's moving or not. It almost looks like a dust or something like that, but maybe it's mites? I don't know. It's hard to tell. So uh, the last feeding that we dropped into here 12 days ago was a frozen banana that I split in half. And I think the open ends were facing inward, and the rest of the banana was pretty much still in the peel. The only thing that was exposing actual banana was the opened up cracked in half surface and I would have to think that a banana would be a popular item so let's let's dig in what we'll do before we open up this hole here to feed today we'll backtrack we'll go counterclockwise into the previously fed corners to see how things look and over here where we gave banana most recently. Oh, there it is. I see pieces of the banana peel. Holy cow. Holy cow. Here's one of the pieces. Yeah, it looks like a pretty popular spot, if you ask me. This is where the worms will try to get out of the bright lights. But with the peel there, I wonder what's going to occur. They've definitely done a fine job obscuring their visibility and getting out of view. I guess there's probably a good many of them in other places here too as I kind of unfold the banana peel. So, not too surprising. There was another half of the banana. When I snapped it in half, I placed them right next to each other. So, holy cow. <laughs> I guess that's what I was wondering was like what's what's it gonna look like when we find the other one and it looks like the other one might have been a little bit more popular what do you think whoa whoa look at all those worms all right it's like a slow motion accident happening train wreck okay <laughs> Let's give these little guys a break. This big chunk of banana peel with all those worms in it just started rolling off my fingertips. I wonder why this particular piece of the banana was just so much more popular than the other one. Oh, man. Maybe this one was still, you know, plentiful in what was remaining to be eaten. This one over here, the first one, might have already been stripped clean of the majority of the yummy food 
But, okay, let's give these little guys a break. <laughs> Feeling very intrusive here. And, you know, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot left of that banana peel with all that worm action over there. That was something to behold. So, all right, let's, let's press back further in the time machine here. Two feedings ago, I couldn't tell you what we fed, but there's um, a lot of nice castings here. A lot of worms hanging out in it. Moisture levels are good. Very comfortable. Nice, cool, damp material. Plenty of worms enjoying it. Here's like a very slow composting leftover of a chunk of corn cob. Probably not just from one feeding ago, two feedings ago, but probably more like, you know, six feedings ago or ten feedings ago. So, um, that's probably the only sort of stuff we're going to find there. The, uh, the pocket that we're feeding in over there, I do remember, does have some very slow composting hard um, objects in it that we're going to encounter. So hopefully the, uh, the yummy watermelon will drive warm traffic on and around those old items that we're trying to see gradually get consumed by the worms. But naturally, tougher materials take the worms more time. And the stuff that's over in this corner, I can't remember what it was though. I do remember pulling aside, yeah, stuff like this. The outer husk of a mango seed. There might have been other things too. I remember multiple objects in the video. Yeah, you know, I review the videos once in a while to see what we did the previous check-in just to refresh my memory. And here I definitely remembered bumping into these things. On other channels, I peop see people crush crushing those things pretty easily after they've been in the worm bin for a while. And I mean, those things I would have to imagine have been around for a while. So I would imagine that they would probably crush if I tried. Yeah, but sometimes it's just fun to have old throwback leftovers from feedings gone by to check out. So I think we're at that point where... Bedding. Yeah, you know, I had this kind of a weird idea just to try to do away with some odds and ends that I had laying around over here. I figured these pieces of cardboard I've been of um, just been sitting out here on my bench. This one just didn't want to go quite so easily. And, you know, it is a little bit of a skimpy um, application of bedding, I'll admit. But I think that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. The, um... I think the worms will probably at some point, I don't know, I think we've def definitely got um, four complete circles now that that's the 16th pocket feeding, right? So um, what we're embarking on now, once we come back in here in another couple weeks to feed them again the next time, is going to be our fifth lap. Going around and around the bin, because, you know, it's 17 fe feedings at just a little bit over a couple hundred days old. I think the system's got a little ways to go still, so let's uh, let's supplement their feeding with a little bit of crushed eggshell as grit, and hey, it looks like I could finally do away with the remains of this crushed peanut shell. I had a whole bunch of it, almost an entire full jar, and now it's finally gone. It took a couple weeks to do away with it, but uh, with the help of the worms, I finally got rid of all those peanut shells. All right, so I've also got my worm chow here. Now that the peanut peanut shell is all gone, I can actually start using my worm chow again, too. <laughs> it's been standing in a sort of a double um, for my worm chow lately, just so I could do away with it. And that, I believe, brings us to the end of this fun check-in with the worms that actually are now in their first generation being indoor worms. So when the system was launched back then, 217 days ago, 31 weeks ago, this was still the worms from the outdoor worm bag. So these guys are doing great in here. This bin is always fun to check in on. And doing the changing of the location of the feeding zone each time is kind of fun too. It seems to result in a, a system that works really well. And the worms seem very 
happy and healthy. And so that's it for the check-in, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.